All right, gang. Sorry, nothing new and cool for the intro this week, uh, but here's a hint as to the name of the dog we're gonna paint. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Petite Pet Portraits with your host, the artist Algernon, but you can call me Derek. Uh, I am happy to bring you another episode, uh, so feel free to like and subscribe if you're into this, watching me paint. The whole thing's just to relax, get away from the world for a little bit, you know? Um, so today the painting is going to be of a dog named Yoshi. Uh, and the origin of the uh, name Yoshi comes from the Super Mario Brothers series. Uh, and that, or at least that's where the characters launch from what I understand. I took a little bit of a look, uh, the history of Yoshi. Yoshi came around right around the time that I left uh, uh, video games. I got more into sports and um, it's not a judgment. Uh, it's totally cool to play video games. I hear it's pretty popular these days. In fact, there's people making a living playing them. I would have never thought that when I was a kid. Because when we were kids, if you were playing video games all the time, you kind of got teased. You caught a little heat from the gang. You'd say like, uh, hey, you want to go outside play uh, uh, basketball? And if you're like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm playing video games. You'd be like, you were called a coucher. And uh, just meant you sat on your couch and played video games, probably a bit too much. And you'd be like, you'd say to your friend, hey, Donald, you're a real coucher. <laughs> so <clears throat> so um, we're gonna go ahead and, <laughs> and jump uh, into the painting process uh, as we paint the dog Yoshi. We go over the history of the Mario Brothers character, Yoshi. Let's do it. The history of Yoshi as per the internet. You know it's true. If I get anything wrong, gang, you gotta let me know. I'll make corrections or whatever. We'll, we'll discuss that in the chats. Anyhow, so Nintendo wanted Mario to have a dinosaur companion. Dating as far back as the original Mario Brothers, Yoshi would uh, be thought about and developed over the course of a few years, roughly five years, until he made his actual debut in the 1990 Super Mario World. He would then get his own games and go on to appear in about 101 different games, whether it be the handheld ones or having his own, uh, such as uh, Yoshi's Island and numerous others. He initially was supposed to be a lizard-dinosaur hybrid, but would later be a turtle-like hybrid to tie into the Koopa origin story, which I think is amazing. And I really do enjoy this character. I didn't know much about him. So let's talk about Yoshi the dog. So this is the information that I got from my friend Chuck, who I used to play in a band with in Los Angeles years ago. Great guy. Let's talk about Yoshi. So Yoshi likes to hunt crickets and it's a girl dog. She likes to have the underside of her forearm scratched, the lower back above her tail, and Chuck's son loves it when she gets the zoomies, which uh, my dog gets the zoomies too sometimes. And boy is that fun. That is a good time. So that is the history of both Yoshi, the Super Mario Brothers character, and Yoshi, the dog. We're here. We've made it this far. We're about to start. We're going to wrap it up. I should, instead of saying we're about to start wrapping it up, I should just make the declaration. We're wrapping this guy up. <clears throat> so, let's get that booger off of there. That's gross. You don't want any paint boogers, gang. All right. There's a few things that are in here that I find to be uh, uh, unacceptable for the final part. One, I got a couple highlights that are actually too high. And then 
in order to tame them. In order to tame them, I just gotta, um, I gotta get the right color. Or I should say the right, uh, sorry, the right color value as far as like uh, light and dark. I've said it before, the best way to look at painting, or not look at it, but uh, the best way to think of painting when you get to this point is uh, the way you would adjust your television screen or your, now I'd say computer screen. I don't know if anybody actually watches television as television used to exist. There we go. Now we're gonna take that same thing. What we have is we have these competing, competing, um, like the, the white. There's two shades of white in this that we have going. One of them is a blue tinted white and the other's an orange tinted white. And those colors are what is creating that kind of like, <clears throat> that vibrational feel. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. You can see it kind of like brightens it up a bit and it adds a warmth. And it's that push-pull, like that what had a bit of red in it, and it's not, it's not red. That was me getting a bit lazy towards the end. And that's unacceptable, you gotta finish strong, you know? Speaking of finishing, I think, I think we're almost completely done. Last thing I want to do is I actually do want to dilute what I have here. And I want to just establish this area here. There is Because I have that color mixed and I know it's the right color and I'm not just guessing and slapping paint on the canvas, I can confidently, I can confidently add these strokes. Now, I just gotta make sure that color is bright where it's supposed to be bright. I'm gonna put a little dollop on there and drag it because that's how the the hair of this dog that's how it appears. That texture is going to add. Here we go. This is the last stroke of paint we're gonna put on here. I'm very excited. And it's gonna be that bluish color. There's part one. And part two. Well, there you go. That's a painting. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video game history lesson uh, and, and I really hope you enjoyed watching me paint. I had a really good time. It really did take me back, uh, as far as the video game stuff goes, it really did take me back to a lot of the um, fun times I had 
playing video games and kind of discovering that world, um, obviously it's advanced far from uh, when I was doing that. So it was, it was nice to kind of, um, you know, to get a legitimate history lesson because that video games have become such a huge part of our history uh, and, and the lexicon at large, I think. So um, it was nice to catch this old man up to, up to speed, sort of. I'm still not going to be playing video games. And in fact, I was a character in a video game once. That's for another time. Another episode, maybe. Uh, anyhow, so uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for sticking by if you made it this long. Oh man, good on ya. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, there's nothing left for me to say except maybe uh, cheers to another great painting. Mm. That's nice. Peace and I'm out. Be well, everybody.